I'm gonna have to edit out just like every time I said in this video, oh my god, it's so hot. <sighs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing a spotlight on petite palettes. This is going to be a talk-through one, so it'll be a little bit longer than my shorter ones. But we're finally going to be playing with the Midas Cosmetics Lemonade Palette. I've been meaning to, like, try this palette out, like, literally... Has it been months? It's probably been months at this point. I got this a while ago back with the Flower Bomb Palette, and I really enjoyed the Flower Bomb Palette. But I just, I, I don't know why. I just, I had a bunch of other palettes I was testing. I'm in quarantine. I haven't bought anything new in quite a while. And I thought, what better way to test this out than by including it in one of my favorite series, the Spotlight on Petite palettes. And it's petite because there's only nine shades in here. Wait, can I count? One, two, three, four, five, six. It is a nine. I'm not the best at math or counting. So I, I always double check myself. But I just want to play and do a look. I'm not sure exactly what look I'm going to do yet. I've only, like, swatched a few of the shades before. I haven't actually worn this on my eyes yet. So, we're gonna have some fun with that, talk through, and see how I like it. So, like I said, I've tried the formula, at least for the mattes, in the Flower Bomb palette. Now, the Flower Bomb palette has pressed glitters. I'm not a huge fan of those. I mean, I mainly use them as, like, accents, like, on the brow bone or in the inner corner, but, like, nowhere near my lid because... I mean, pressed glitters are a gamble if you wear them on your lid no matter what, but I have hooded lids. It's all white right now, so you can't see it as much, but I have hooded lids and I just worry about fallout and if it got into my eye. So I don't really wear pressed chunky glitters like that on my lid. So I haven't really used those as much, but thankfully in this, we don't have any like chunky glitters. We just have mattes, it looks like a satin, and just some shimmers. So I'm very excited to see what I can come up with. And also, I don't think I mentioned this, I've been playing with the settings on my camera and with a little bit of the, the filming, just some technical things I'm trying to do to make videos just a little bit better, especially when my lighting isn't the best. Uh, I thought summer would be easier because <laughs> it'd be more light, you know, to film with. If, but if anything, my lighting's been getting worse. <laughs> And I do have like the the two big umbrella lights. I've got a light behind me, but I don't know why I'm so I'm trying to make it work So if you see anything if it looks better than other videos if it looks worse than other videos Just let me know down below. So I think I want to start out this bright yellow right here is calling my name So I'm gonna start out with that shade of just like a fluffy brush and Just load it up Okay, this time let's not tap off the excess as much All right, it looks nice and bright. And I will say I did prime my eyes with the Urban Decay uh, shadow potion, and then I set it with a white shadow in one of my, I think it's my Pro Harry Potter project pan. I'm trying to hit pan in an eyeshadow palette and it has a white shade. So I've been using the white to set my primer and it especially helps with bright looks like this. So the yellow showed up very nicely there. That looks really nice for a transition. So let me just go ahead and pop this shade on my other eye. I saw a meme where it was like, uh, good luck to those that have the hottest room in the house now that it's summer and we're still in quarantine and, uh, yep. <laughs> wow, this color came out so bright and vibrant. I I'm loving it. Okay. Is it just the lighting or does this eye look better than this eye? I don't know. Maybe I should do a little bit more on this side. Might just be my lighting, but for some reason this eye looks a bit more vivid than this eye. Anyway, now that we have that, do I, I think I want to go the more mustardy route to really deepen this up. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to deepen it up with the shade in the middle right here, and then I want to wing it out with this mustard shade. So for the second shade, let's see, I want to go right into my crease. So I'm going to take this tiny brush. This is from Luxie. Color switch it up. Go in with that middle shade. Ooh, that looks pretty. Okay. Let's, I'm going to try and just concentrate this here, though there might not be a huge difference, I guess, on the eye between these two shades. Let's see. So it's like a slight difference. There's not a whole lot going on between those two shades. So let's do it on this eye. Yeah, so not a lot happening with that. Do I want to use another shade? Mmm. No, I think we'll leave it. Yeah, so next I really want to make this like mac and cheesy mustardy shade my deepest shade. So I'm going to grab, I didn't grab a card. I'm going to grab a card in order to do this. Hold on a second. So for that deep mac and cheese mustard shade, I'm going to bring in 
uh, a more dense round kind of brush. I don't know, is that one going to do okay? Yeah, let's use this one. This is an, an odd Morphe brush. And we will load up that mac and cheese shade. And let's go to town. Okay, so the fallout went a little bit lower, so the line isn't as crisp, but we'll just build it up a little bit more. If anything, I kind of wish I had done my eyes first so I could have cleaned this up, but it doesn't look too bad from a bit away. So let me just get my wing ready for the other side, and maybe, I don't want them to look too uneven, but I'm going to keep in mind a bit more where that yellow was. That one looks a little bit better. There is not as much fallout on this side, so build that up. And I will say this shade is giving me a little bit of fallout, but I am trying to pack it on. It's not, honestly, it's not as deep on the eye as I was kind of hoping for, but it does blend in nicely with these two other shades. So I guess one critique I have so far is that so far they're looking a bit different in the pan than they do on, they look on the eyes. Ooh, and that's a lot of fallout right there. Hopefully that does not stain. Oh my god, it's so hot. Let's see, should I do my lower lash line first or my lid? Mm. Okay, let's do the lower lash line. So for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to just take mainly the darkest mustard mac and cheesy shade and use that. Then I'm going to take that first bright yellow we used just to blend it out a little bit. Okay, same, so a little bit of fallout again. But, uh, if anything, I'm learning that you should definitely do your eyes first when you use this palette, and then go in with your face. But yeah, I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, so now for the lid. I want to take, I think, the brightest shimmer. I thought about going in with maybe, like, ooh, the gold might be a little... Actually, that gold might look good. So this middle gold, and then I'll use this bright one as, like, an inner corner highlight. So, let's see. Let me just try it with my finger first and see how it looks. Hmm, that looks pretty. Whenever I try out new, like, formulas like this, I do like to try it with just, just a finger first or to see how it applies. There are a few formulas where I can apply shimmers like this and they last amazing throughout a day. Like, the ABH, the original ABH formula, the shimmers work really well. And then there are some brands that, like, even though you expect them to work this well, they don't. So, like, Natasha Denona, I can't apply those shimmers with just a finger. I have to use a glitter glue or something. So, I just like what I like to do when I first try something out, even if it might not look as vibrant or, like, bright. Just part of my personal preference for testing new stuff. And then that way I can tell you guys how I think the best way to use the shimmer is. And again, this is a shade that looks so much darker in the pan than it does on the eye. That looks, I like the overall effect. It looks really pretty. All right, now just for the inner corner, I am going to use again that first bright shade. Where's my inner corner highlight brush? There it is. So I'm gonna use this brightest shimmer shade. This highlight here. Oh, I like that. It's like this bright, almost white, but it has like that yellow tinge to it. It's so pretty. Ooh, that would have looked pretty on the lid too. Next time. And then highlight up here. Highlight up here. Ooh, it is so bright. I love that shade. That might actually be my favorite shade so far. Is that light shimmer. Oh my god. Okay, so we've got most of the look done. I'm just going to do mascara real quick. I don't want to do liner. I don't want to cover this up. So I'm just going to throw some mascara on and we'll be right back. Okay, so here we are with the final look. Am I happy with it? Yes, I think it looks really pretty. I like how everything blended together, but I will say I'm not 100% sold on this palette yet. Maybe it's because I, I waited too long to test it out or I just had like extra high expectations for it, but I don't know. It was a bit of a journey. The shades look a lot different. Not a lot different, but the shades do look different in the pans than they do on the eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw some swatches in here so you can see what the swatches actually look like. Maybe the swatch is a better way of telling what it might look like on the eye than in the pan, but... I just, uh, I don't know. I'm half and half at this point.
Oh, sorry, my camera just cut out there. But what I was saying is I'm half and half on this palette. I definitely need to test it more. I like the shades that I used. I think it looks really pretty, but I do need to test out the shimmers see how they last on my lid, see if they work better with a glitter glue or maybe even like a liquid shadow underneath them. So this is the first one where it's like I'm not like 100% in love of the palette yet. So we'll see. More testing is required. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to watch other videos where I test out petite palettes or just smaller palettes in my collection that go a little bit under loved because I tend to go for more medium sized palettes. Although the whole playlist of all of these videos up in the cards, I like to alternate between longer talk through videos like this and then shorter, more musical video kind of focused videos where I just show you a quick look with a smaller palette. So thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.